Hello again, and thanks for viewing our next video tutorial on Corel's Video Studio X3, the newest version of this phenomenal application that does so much more for so little. In this tutorial, I'd like to cover another of the four applications available from Video Studio's launcher, Easy Edit. One of the features I've always liked about Video Studio is it gives the user different choices of work environments. Benefits of these choices are that you can choose a work environment based on your level of experience in video editing, how quickly you need to get the job done, or to what degree of editing is necessary to create your movie. If you remember from our quick overview tutorial on the four paths you can take in the launcher, they include Burn, which concentrates its task on the DVD creation part, the DV to DVD wizard, which works only with DV tape, Easy Edit, the mid-level path, and Advanced Edit, where just about anything is possible. All right, let's launch Easy Edit. The interface is very similar to the Burn application, or DVD Factory as it's referred to, but where Easy Edit excels is the editing portion before you create your output, whereas Burn concentrates mainly on the output itself. So that's what I'm going to show you more of today. I already have all the content imported I'll be using. Now, if you want to learn more about how Burn and Easy Edit imports and organizes this content, check out the tutorial on using the media organizers. But basically, when you bring in input, you hover over the input choice here and choose any of the orange check marks that denote which items are available to you. And you basically choose which items you want to bring in, or you can select which folders you want to be watched so any content that changes in those folders will update automatically here in the organizer. One of the cool things I want to show you is the quick ability to play a slideshow. Open up any of the folders, click the quick show arrow here in the upper left corner and you have a slideshow. So this is great for showing your friends a great slideshow very quickly and easily. Great. All right, I'm gonna create a movie of our Orlando vacation last summer. In the folders view, let me double click the Orlando folder and then choose videos from my library selection here and then only videos will show. All I need to do is double click on any video or photo item to make some basic to intermediate edits. Now remember, we're in the easy edit mode, more video editing choices are in the advanced edit mode, and more photo editing choices are available in PaintShop Pro Photo, another incredible Corel software product that does more for under $100 than most apps costing hundreds more. But I digress. I'm going to quickly trim the length of this last clip. First, I'll move the playback head to where I want to cut and click the trim button up here. It then asks me, in easy to understand language, which part of the clip I want to keep. And I want to keep the selected. While I'm here, let's take a quick look at the other editing tools available to us. At the top, we can also split the video into two pieces. In this case, it would give us three clips, the original and two new cut segments. You can also take a snapshot to separate a single frame. Other tools are available over here behind the scenes. You can adjust the lighting, reduce the noise or artifacts, stabilize the shaking in your clips, add tags for searching and organization purposes, and view basics on your clips. I'll do more of this in part two of this tutorial. But I will try and reduce some of the noise in this clip. Let's rewind it to a portion where you can really see where there's some possible noise. Keep watching the netting portion of this fence. If I reduce the noise, to about halfway, you'll notice it's actually gotten a little bit smoother. Notice, watch it as I re undo it and redo it. Undo, redo. So it smooths it out quite significantly. So I'll go ahead and keep that. Again, undo and redo at the top of the screen here should you change your mind. If I want to, I can also play my clip at full screen with this button here. Let's try that. Click Escape to come back. Now I'll click the Back button. And notice I still have the original clip and the new and edited one right here. So I'm done editing this clip. And I'm going to stop this part one of the Easy Edit tutorial. Launch part two for the rest. Thanks again for joining us.